Alrighty, I decided that I was going to do a tutorial on how to put an apron together. Maybe some of you would like to make some of these for Christmas, and they're so easy that I wanted to help you. I had to figure it out on my own, which it wasn't a big deal, but I decided to use this beautiful fabric. Someone's ordered this and for her mother in law, I believe. And so, um, this is the big piece of fabric that I cut out already. And you want a liner. The first one I made, I didn't do a liner. I don't know what's the best, but I think it looks a little bit more professional to have a liner. Okay, so here we go. I'm not going to go really fast because I'm afraid I'll knock my phone down. So here we go. done now. I can work on getting it spread out later. Okay, so now what I like to do, she chose she wanted a religious saying on it, so this towel I thought went really nice with this fabric. And it says blessed. So what I do is I find the center of this towel and I mark it. And then I find the center of the apron. See, here's the center, just fold it in two. And then I take my towel and I place it right there. Now, I, I just discovered these little clips, and they're awesome because you don't stab yourself with your pins. I don't know, it probably takes more time, but it, you don't draw as much blood. So that's nice. Okay, let's see if this looks kind of even. To me, that does not look even. I feel like I've got less fabric here than I do on this side. So I'm going to have to make just a teeny bit of adjustment. And something else I know about these towels is it will try to stretch over there. Okay, that's much better. going to baste. That means your, your thread, the length of your stitch is large. So I'm going to set my machine to five and away I'm going to go. Very pleased as I can to the directions on the package so I can bring all the I'm not going to take care about that. I do not want to break a needle today. I 
think which power. And the thing is, is I, I'm running out of all my colors. And I know these would go for Christmas, but in looking at it, I just feel like it looks so much prettier with the red. I think the red goes better with the tan towel. So even though I'm going to need that red probably, I can't help myself. I've got to use it. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do with this binding, and the binding I use is a um, quilting binding. So I fold it in half there, and then I bring it down to a little point, and then I turn it. Then when I get ready to sew this, it'll be in a point. Again, I use my little clipper there, and then I'm going to do the other end. So, you just turn it, get rid of that raw edge, then turn it in, turn it in, and then you have your second, your towel done, and then I find the middle of this, because I want there to be the same amount of ties on each side, so I find the middle. I come up here, and this should have a short and a long. I take the short, and then, that's my middle. Now I find the middle of my apron. Just about right there. And I'm going to put this to the back. It's going to be wrong side to wrong side. And I'm going to pin that first. Flip it back. I'm going to go all the way across this tail. I'm not going to have enough clips. Bought some new pins the other day. And they're not sharp. You ever heard of a pin that's not sharp? It doesn't want to go through my fabrics. I like my tape. It's kind of irritating. Okay. So we go all the way across. And what we're doing is we're, we're making our binding here for the waistband of this apron. Now some people would do this the opposite. They would do this in the front. And then wrap it around the back. But I feel like for me, I can make it look better if I can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I pin this down. And if you want to know why I pin that down, it's because I have sewn this up in the waistband. And that's why I pin it down. Okay, you might want to skip that. But if you do, I bet you anything, you will pin it in there. I don't now. I now I don't pin it because I've got used to, to holding it back. But anyway, in the beginning. Okay, now I switched my stitch length back to its original 2.4. And we're going to back it up. And we're going to go across this last one. So, it makes your tie. Now, on some of the ones that I'm making as of late, I'm making, and I've done it in the past, I've made my own binding 
out of fabric that I like. And I've been having to do that again because every place is running out of my binding. <laughs> and I think they're having trouble getting it in stock. I've looked on Amazon to see if I could buy a big roll of it. That may be my next plan. But I figure if this is going to be short-lived, everyone's getting them for Christmas presents. Okay, so now I have this all pinned, and I'm going to want to sew like this coming up. And so I go all the way to the end, and I take this clip out, and I secure it. Now, we, this is going to make a little bit of a noise. It sounds like it's struggling a little bit, but this machine is supposed to be able to sew through 16 layers of fabric. And this is just one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight. So anyway, I, th I figure I'm good. Okay, now in a second, I want you to tell me what this sounds like. I'm going to go really fast, and then I'm going to slow down. And I want you to tell me what it sounds like, because every time I hear the sound, I have a particular feeling and thought and memory. So here we go. It's going to be funny if anybody else has it. it a lot. It won't rip away from there. Okay, well, did anybody have, did that sound like anything to anybody? I'm going to do it again, and you can tell me what you think. Show you how to make the pocket. Oh, what did that sound like to you guys? Did it sound like you were in a boat and you were coming up and you, you know, it says not to make a wake and so you turn it down and then the closer you get to the dock, you turn it down again. That's exactly what it sounds like. So I think of my times at the lake every time I sell this. Okay, so long ago when we left an opening, Go 
this delight with this. sharp because you don't want to go through your fabric so I bought this little tool called a stiletto and it really has come in handy when I get ready to push these points out I need to get way up in there okay so normally I would go over to the um, iron and I would iron this and here's the opening. So I'm going to iron that smooth. Then when we sew it, I will sew that opening closed. However, I made a pocket so that you would not have to wait on me to go iron. So here we go. And I'm putting my stiletto right back in the place that it goes. My pinking shears right in the place that they go so that I can to go look for them. Okay, now this has blessed on it. Something else you want to remember to do because as me how I know I, one time, I sewed a pocket like this and I sewed it to my tail to the apron. That's not good. We don't want that because we want you to be able to lift up the apron and wipe your hands. Okay, so I'm going to put this pocket right over here and as you can see it's in my way of my blessed so i'm just gonna raise it up a bit kind of get it as straight as you all can the seams are really these towels sometimes aren't so straight so i had to get over thinking that it had to be absolutely straight or i would have driven myself crazy now I just shoot for the best. Okay, so I'm going to line it up right here. And then what you do is you start that you drag it.